the dark closet, the basement stairs, the kitchen cupboard. These are all places that people need light, but sometimes they're just not one there. Mm -mm. Well, that's where the Instabulb comes in. As seen on TV, the Instabulb is a quick, convenient way to light an area without having to run wires. So guess what? We put it to the test. Are there places in your home where you wish you had a light, but you don't? Hi, Anthony Sullivan here for the wireless Instabulb, the battery-operated light bulb that you can install without an electrician. Unlike glass bulbs that break, the Instabulb is shatterproof if you drop it. All right, now you've seen the commercial. So we are here to put the Instabulb to the test. I'd like to introduce you to a good friend of mine. This is Jim Cody. Jim, I appreciate you letting us come in. We Thank invaded you. your basement. Oh, that's fine. Just to <laughs> see if, indeed, the Instabulb makes all things dark bright again. What kind of light are, are you hoping for down here? Well, I'd like to have the lighting as we have it right now. You, right. Know, we, you can see what you're doing. All right, and I, I gotta tell you the truth. There's one thing that I want you to test for me before we let you go today. It says it's shatterproof. And you've got a good concrete floor here, so I wanna put that to the test. Well, let's try it and see what happens. Let's open that thing up and see what's inside. Inside, Cody found two Insta bulbs and a set of directions. The only thing not inside were the four AA batteries that were required for each Insta bulb. Yeah, I called for four double A's. Four double A's. Right. And as coincidence would have it, I just happened to have four double A batteries in my hands. As Cody loaded the batteries, he shared that he already had a location in mind for this Insta bulb and that I could help him place it. Cody replaced the mounting base, and it looked like we were ready. Before we actually try to hang it, should should we test it? I think we should. It's got a pull chain, just like a regular yeah. light. All right. Yeah, it does. Fire it up. Okay, so you got it here, and and I guess what we'll do is we'll stick it up there on on, on one of the joists, right? And see how it works out for you, right? Let's try that. All right, you point out to me where you want it, and let's, I'll stick it up there. Let's stick it right here. We're down right the there. Yeah. All right. That'd okay. Be fine. All right, so we figured out where we're going to put it now. Right. So I'll tell you what. Let me let me do you a favor here, Cody. I don't know if I can reach all the way up there. But I'll try. Well, I'll give it a just, good just, shot. Just to see if I can. Can if I go you, ahead and turn this off? Yeah, go ahead and turn it off. Right, I'll go ahead and turn it off. And we're going to put it right here, right? Right. If you can right. do that for us. And it's just got this little sticky stuff on the back, so we'll just take the little backing off there. We'll put this, uh, yeah, I'm, right. I'm going to have to stretch here, Cody, just to get up here, but I'm okay, going to give it a well, shot. All right. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> don't fall, right? Yeah, don't fall. <laughs> it, you know, all kidding aside, it's no problem for me here, but this is kind of a short string. I mean, are you going to be able to reach this thing okay? That, that yeah. should be no problem at all. Yeah. Not that too far away. Yeah, because, I mean, it's got, like I said, it's a low ceiling and the string is it's fairly long enough. Doesn't have to be long. No. Yeah. All right, so we got it in place, Cody. Shall, uh, come on up here and let's, let's put it to the test, but before we can turn that one on, I guess we got to turn this one off, don't we? Yeah, let's right, do let's it. Kill the lights. Is that better than a clapper? Yep, a right, lot so better. Uh, what do you think? Well, I don't know. Tell me what you think. I don't think it's very bright. Don't think it's bright enough to Not for what I'd like to read do. a book or no. Hmm. I mean, you figured way down here, I mean, just you barely see the instructions. I barely see the table. Yeah, but that's true, well, too. Well, let's sit down and talk about this. I got to turn the lights back on, though. Okay? All right, let's do that. Yeah, let's just... I like that. Another feature of the Instabulb is that you can remove it from its base, which allows you to take it anywhere. So Cody turned the Instabulb back on and dropped it on his concrete floor. The light went out, the batteries popped out of the base, but on closer inspection, the bulb appeared to be intact. So we retrieved the batteries and the cover that popped off. We put the batteries back in and, oh, look at there. The light came back on. All right, Cody, you put it to the test, the Instabulb, you actually get Two of them. Ten ninety nine. The question is, would you buy it? No. Why? Well, I don't feel it's going to give you enough light. It's it's uh, good maybe for a night light for the children. Yeah. But it's not adequate lighting, you know, for reading or doing anything else. But it didn't break. It didn't shatter. Well, yeah. I mean, that's that's one thing they stand by. I mean, it's, it don't break. As far as doing any kind of work or reading or anything like that, you'd have to have it right on your shoulder. There you go. Now, we should share with you that uh, while Cody was putting the Instabulb to the test, one of the two actually stopped working. He had turned it off and couldn't get it to come back on again. But a little bit later, he tugged at the switch hard enough and got it working again. So, uh, something for you to keep in mind there. My, my problem is I always forget to turn them off and then I gotta buy new batteries. <laughs> well, still ahead on Delmarva Life, we're celebrating the peach ahead of next weekend's peach festival in Berlin. We'll head into the kitchen next to make peach cupcakes and learn all about the annual event. But first, here's a look at what's coming up in the news on First at Five on Fox 21, a little bit later on, WBOC News at six.